Hey guys, this is Jim WT1W and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. So today I want to take a look at a Baofeng that I bought. I purchased this off of Amazon with my own money. This was not sent to me by the manufacturer. This radio is the Baofeng K5 Plus Tri-Band radio and this has uh, weather radio and you know uh, who knows all kinds of stuff in it this radio was about 30 bucks on Amazon it was not expensive I've already opened it as you can see it comes with a manual that goes through all the radio -y things that it does we were talking about this in the discord a couple weeks ago and it looks like a Quan Shang K5. Let me get the radio out and move the box. And this comes with, if you're interested, this comes with a USB-C cable. The battery on this radio is USB-C chargeable. This comes with a desktop charger, a belt clip, two antennas. One is for 220 and one is for uh, two meters and 440 or whichever, some combination thereof. And, um, you know, the usual accoutrement that you get with the radio. The radio is, and it is right here. And this is your typical Baofeng looking radio. It has the orange knob like the Quan Shang has. It also has a flashlight in it. And other than that, it's like a Baofeng. It's a little bigger in size than the Quan Shang K5. You can see that it clearly says Baofeng on it. If we jump into the menus, and of course it's two, two VFOs. Let me turn the volume down because I get tired of listening to her. Uh, we have all the usual menu functions. There's our firmware version, so on and so forth. It will scramble. It does not do APRS. It has VFO mode and memory mode. It does Vox. It will show the logo on power on or the voltage of the battery. There's all the Vox settings. It does the normal tones. P uh, has a Roger beep as well as DCS and PL tones and so on and so forth for transmit and receive. It does MDF identification transmission, all the standard things you would see in almost every HT made in the last 10 years. And of course we can switch bands, two meters, 440, and I assume it'll go to 220. Yep. So all that stuff works just like you'd expect it to work. This radio, the Quan Shang K5. So the K5, when I tested the one that I got from Quan Shang, it barely passed or barely failed, depending on which day it is and how close you look at the chart. The harmonic on it was more than 40 dB down, but it was slightly over minus 16.02 dBm of output power, which means it's a fail because the standard for UHF is minus 16.02 and more than 40 dB below the fundamental. So the K5 right on the edge of the envelope for pass fail. So what we're gonna do, and the reason I only, the only reason I really bought this radio, cause it's a $30 HT, it does everything you'd expect a $30 HT to do is to hook it up on the oscilloscope and the spectrum analyzer and take a look at it. So let's get to that. Let me throw it on the O-scope and let's see what the uh, output waveform looks like. Stick around. All right, we've got the Baofeng connected up to the oscilloscope. So let's take a look at what the waveform looks like and see if it's clean. And that's fine. That looks, uh, that looks pretty good. If we tinker with the time a little bit, That looks like a pretty solid sine wave right there. I got no problem with that at all. Very good, let's jump to the spectrum analyzer and take a look at it there. Okay, we've got the Baofeng hooked up to our spectrum analyzer and let's take a look. This guy is currently set on uh, low power. Let's key up. Wow, okay, that's terrible. Um, our second harmonic at 293 is at 20 dBm, positive 20 dBm. So this is way, way out of spec. Plus which it's over minus 16 dBm of total power for the harmonic fail. And the third harmonic at 440 
is minus 7 dBm-ish, which is also way too high, and also over minus 16 dBm of total power for the harmonic. So that's a fail. This is on low power. Let's jump to high power and see what that looks like real quick. All right, we're on high power. Let's key up. And as I suspected, also an epic fail on this particular radio. Guys, that's all I've got for this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you would, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and ring the bell below so you get notified whenever I post any new content. Thanks, y'all. 73. Have a good one.